Teresa, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me here today. On my table today I've got some watercolour paint and some watercolour paper and I'm going to be doing a bit of a first impressions, review, um, talking you through these products that I was gifted um, from a representative of the Paul Rubens Art Company. Now I get asked on a fairly regular basis from various companies, would you like to try something um, of ours? Would you like to review it? Would you like to share it? Sometimes I say yes, sometimes I say no, it all depends. I've, you know, I don't do these sort of reviews just to get free product. Um, I'm not saying that everybody does, but some people probably do. I will only take a product if it's something that I really think I want to have a, a play with, something that I think that I can use. I also will only take a product if I think it's something that's going to be good quality. I don't want to set myself up for disappointment. And, um, you know, I always make sure that the review that I give is my 100% honest opinion. Now, I was sent these products free of charge, but I'm not being paid to do this review. I'm not being paid to say that they are something that they're not. So whenever I do this type of video, you can rest assured this is my opinion. And if I say I like it, then I genuinely do like it. And if I don't like it, I will say so. But anyway, the, the representative from the company approached me, asked if I wanted to try a particular product. I wasn't really interested in the product that they, they, they'd suggested to me, but they did say if there's something else, you know, please let us know. And in my sort of, you know, my free time, I do like to paint. I like to use watercolour paint. And they'd suggested this set of um, Supervision layered watercolour paints which I was a little bit confused by the term layered watercolour paints until I went and had a look. And I'm guessing what, what that means is, in general terms, we would call that granulation. Um, some watercolour paints, normally the higher end professional watercolour paints, um, have a granulating effect. And that, as you can see from these pictures on the packaging here, is where the various pigments in the colour they are designed that they will split and separate and create um, really interesting textures um, on, on the paper. Now, I have some granulating paints. I have some handmade watercolours that granulate. I have some professional tube paints um, that granulate. And none of them are cheap. They're, you know, these, they're all quite pricey paints. So when I was asked, you know, what would you like to try this? I said, yeah, I'm really interested in trying this. It's the sort of thing that I like to use. So this set of paint came in this nice sturdy box. And inside the box are 10 tubes of paint. And these are 15 mil tubes of paint. Now I'm going to say at the beginning here, this set is not cheap by any means. Um, there are 10 tubes of paint here and it retails on Amazon for £69.99, pence, so £70, £7 a tube. And a lot of people go, that is really expensive. I agree it's not cheap, but by comparison, something like this one here, which is also a granulating paint, but is a 5ml tube, will cost the same per tube. So, you know, you're getting three times the paint. It's a third of the price of other brands. And with some of the handmade watercolours that I've got, I will pay seven or eight pounds for a half pan of that. So in that respect, this paint represents excellent value. But I am going to say I do appreciate that £69.99 pence is no small price. But is it any good? Is it worth the money? Now, I love the fact that on the tubes, you can see the colours that are in the paint. So, for example, this one here, as the, as the name of it is red-yellow, you can see that there's going to have red and yellow pigments in there. Um, this one's going to have a sort of violet and a red. This one's going to have a green and, and, a, and a pinky red. And I think that's really nice. Um, I, I do like... The packaging design, I think it looks really nice. The one thing that gets me with things like this, obviously they're a Chinese manufacturer. Um, a lot of the information that is on them is Chinese or is translated from Chinese. There is information on here for transparency, which is really nice to know, which you would expect from a more high value, high end paint. And apart from this red, yellow, and the yellow green here, which are both transparent. The others are all classed as a semi-transparent. 
The one thing I will say is it doesn't give you any information about light fastness. On each tube, it says light fastness out list, which means nothing to me. I have no idea. But some of them do actually have pigments listed on here. Now, there is the odd one that says it's a plant pigment or a mineral pigment, but a lot of them, like this, it says PG50 and PR122. Now, you can look up those pigment, pigment um, numbers on the internet to find out what they are, and I'm sure you'll be able to find light fast um, ratings for those pigments. As with all watercolours, though, I would say keep them out of direct sunlight. You know, even high quality light fast pigments will deteriorate over time if in, exposed to bright sunlight. Um, most of the watercolours that I do is in my art journal. It's, it's not going to be hanging in somebody's living room wall opposite a window. So I am, you know, I'm not never too bothered about what, whether I know what the light fastness is. The one thing, though, I was interested to find out is, are the paints any good? Are they good quality? Are they worth the price tag? The other thing that the company then said that they'd send me um, was this watercolour paper. Now, love this pretty packaging, comes in really nice um, pack. This is a glitter watercolour paper. And when I heard that, I thought, mm, is that going to be a little bit gimmicky? I mean, never needed glitter watercolour paper. Is it going to be a bit cheap and nasty looking? Let's have, a, let's have a look and see what it is. And very surprisingly, it is super pretty. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch on here the glitter. It is a very subtle shimmer. And I'm doing this. I cannot see whether this is going to be picked up on my camera or not. It's not super, super glittery, but there are little shimmery, sparkly particles in this paper. The paper itself feels nice. It's 300 GSM in weight. It's a very smooth texture, but this is a hot pressed one. They do a cold press, which has a little bit more texture as well. And it comes in this size, which is an A4 size. And I think it also comes in an A5 size, which is obviously half this size. There are 20 sheets in this pack. And I think this one retails at about £12.99, which is good sort of standard price for a quality paper. It is, according to the description, 100% cotton, um, which... You know, good quality water paper, uh, watercolour paper, if you can find cotton rather than cellulose based, they do work better. They disperse the water better. Um, and I have had a go on this and I am very impressed. I've tried both the paints. I've tried this paper and they are both really, really good. So I'm just going to move the paper out of the way. And I'm going to show you what my first plays were before I then get on to actually, I will paint with it on camera for you just, just to show you. So the first thing I did was I got um, this book here. I do a lot of swatching in this. This is 100% cotton um, paper. And I swatched out the 10 colours to see what they were like. And yes, you can see granulation of varying degrees depending on the colour. The least granulating I find is this blue one here, but this is a light and a dark blue. So you've not got the variation of shades in there. And this blue green here, um, I found not as obvious as some. Some very, very obvious. This, this with the sort of the pink and the turquoise. This red and blue, the brown and the green. You know, certain colours, they show more than others. So there I swatched out um, what they looked like. Here I, I wet the page and just dropped a little drop of colour in and as you can see it, it sort of spreads and the colour pigments split. So if you were to apply it to a wet page you would get a slightly different effect than onto a dry page. And then next I went on to just drawing some leaves. I've been, I recently did a, a Skillshare class um, and I'm, I'm into doing leaves and foliage at the moment and I basically swatched out the different colours and you, you can see much more obviously there how the different colours are granulating and layering. And I was really, really impressed with that. Um, so that inspired me to go on and do a piece of artwork on the glitter paper. And this is what I ended up doing. I did this wreath design 
And as you can see, this paper, there's no buckling, there's no, you look on the back, there's no seepage through the paper. It's kept its shape. It's absolutely wonderful for paint on. The shimmering, um, sort of sparkly glitter in there, you can see that through the paint. Again, I don't know if that's going to show on the camera or not, whether the light's going to catch it. It's a very subtle effect. Um, I would say, do we need glitter watercolour paper? If, if you're just doing an average painting, probably not. Maybe you um, do hand painted greetings cards or bookmarks or things like that. In that case, I think this would be really, really super pretty, really nice, depending on what it is you're painting. You know, it just adds a little something, but glitter or no glitter, it's, it's actually a dream to work on. It's really, really nice. So as you can see here, you know, we've got the different colours. The palette is heavily on a, a blue-green sort of colour spectrum, but there are reds and oranges in there. Um, I just chose not to use them for this piece here. I do like blues and turquoises and purples. I, I tend to have a lot of that type of colour anyway in, in my palette. But I'm very, very impressed with the way that they've performed here and the effects that I've been able to get with them. So I think I'm going to do something similar to this um, for you on, on the video today, just to show you how it works. I will say the paints in the tubes are really thick. They're really pigmented. I will squeeze a little bit out to show you. Although I have actually put some in half pans because I just find it convenient to work from a half pan. Um, they re-wet really, really nicely from that. But just to show you sort of how nice these paints are. You know, they are really thick they're not watery you know they are there's a, a real body to the paint which means there's a lot of pigment in there um, and you can build up some really really strong colors so i think what i'm going to do is i'll zoom in a little bit onto my page i will speed up the process pop some music on paint another floral foliage wreath for you and come back and give you my finishing thoughts at the end of it.
searching for something that ain't lost. Have we got our lines crossed? We're wasting time on stuff that doesn't really matter. While wishing for something better, I try to fix things that weren't broken. Misunderstandings and words unspoken. We fall apart, and I won't dare to say. Do you feel the same way? call that a day I'm really happy with the way that this has turned out some of the paints are a little bit wet at the moment but I hope you can see that as it dries these colors separate and create this beautiful multicolored layered effect really really nice very very impressive love this um, glitter watercolor card as you can see it doesn't warp it doesn't distort it's really really nice um, to paint on and it just has this very pretty subtle shimmer in the background um, absolutely beautiful so i want to say a big thank you to um, the paul rubens art company um, for sending me these paints for sending me this paper to try out i am really really impressed with it and i'm, I'm not just saying that i am i am super impressed with the quality of both the paint and the paper and definitely will be looking to use this in more work that i do and taking a look to see what other paints that they do actually sell as well very very happy with everything that they've sent me if you are interested um, I will pop a link down below in the descriptions to where you can get them from I know I definitely have links to where you can purchase in the UK if I can find the same product um, in the US I will link to that as well um, but just bear with me if you know I may not be able to find a link I don't know until I go and have a look but in the meantime, if you enjoyed this, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again soon. Bye. If we don't feel the same way, then don't pretend that everything's okay. Don't string me along. Let me get it.